Hi, my friends. So I miss getting to share our favorite books all of the time together. So each week I will include some just for fun read alouds, books that we would read just for fun in the library together that I can't wait to check out to you again, um, just for fun and to kind of show you what I've been buying over this time that will be in the library when we get back. Some of them might be things we already had, extra copies so more people can have them, and some of them might be brand new. So this week, one of my for fun ones is that little blue character we love who is crazy like Mrs. Dugan. And this is one of my favorite beginning of the year books of his because when we come off of summer and we move into fall, sometimes it's really hard to get back into the habit of getting up on time. And I think especially this year when we're at our houses all the time and we're not actually going to school right now, I know my own kids, they still want to stay up late. So my character, if you guessed him, remember the characters who the story is about, is this guy, Pigeon. And this is one of my very favorite ones. It's called Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. Now, you know, if we were together, I would be telling you to tell him what to do or what not to do. So you can yell at the computer screen. You can tell him what to do, and he'll be able to hear all the way in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, in my house. Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late by Mo Williams. Oh, good. It's you. Listen. It's getting late, and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Yeah? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Can you do that? Thanks. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. It should be very educational. What do you say? How about five more minutes? Come on. I mean, what's five more minutes in the big scheme of things? What do you say? What? What? about your day. What'd you do, huh? Oh, I got a great idea. We could count the stars. Can I have a glass of water? I mean, studies show the pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed tomorrow early tomorrow night. I promise. Hey, hey, ho, ho, this here pigeon just won't go. Please, my bunny wants to stay up late too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? <sighs> okay, that was not a yawn. I was just stretching. I'm one hundred, two percent awake. You haven't heard the last of me. <laughs> Great work. Thanks. Good night. And sweet hot dog party dreams. Bye.